Kit started when he was in high school. He loved science and he decided that he wanted to go into medicine. His father graduated from Creighton and he was a very good friend of Father Reinhardt, who was the president. He wrote Jim a personal letter and said, I think you should come to Creighton. And it was the best. He just fit the profile of a doctor. We chose Pocahontas because Jim always wanted to practice in a small town. And he said, I think Pocahontas is where I want to go. Forty years later, we were still there. He met the people in the community. He loved them. They loved him. Home was Pocahontas. He was very well respected. There was maybe some times where uh, there was an advantage having your dad as a doctor and uh, maybe you didn't get in as much trouble as maybe you might have. Uh, you know, not that we ever got in trouble. You have your good and your bad. The bad, being the only doctor in town, he was the one that gave you that sex education talk. So that was the bad, but the, the good, I remember the times, you know, going out to the emergency room with my dad and seeing him do his job and myself being a physician, I appreciate, you know, how hard a work that was. Back then he made it seem like it was just part of the day. I first knew uh, Jim Slattery in 1964. I was a uh, very green, M3. He would show us how to draw blood. And all of these procedures that we knew nothing about, he was uh, very kind to show us that. He was very well respected. Not just a good doctor, he was a good person. When anybody got in front of my dad, he would find some connection, whether it's somebody he knows or a town he's been through or a place he's eaten. is amazing. We took a trip to Ireland. He ended up knowing something about the lady at a crystal store and she was actually having some medical problems. And I remember him walking down to the pharmacy and he's like, this is probably what you need. Just a stranger over in Ireland, but that was dad. He has an incredible network of people that he knows. I first met Dr. Slattery in the admissions committee. From the beginning, he's, he was quite a force. I always trusted his, his judgment on students. He loved interviewing the students. It was his new job. After the uh, applications were reviewed, we talk about the Blue Jays. <laughs> he and I have had many conversations over many years about our love for Creighton. Creighton uh, is just deep in our hearts. We had always wanted our children to follow the Creighton tradition. And Jim always said to the kids, you have your choice of where you want to go to college. You can go to Creighton. Creighton. Are you going to Creighton? Uh, he influenced a lot of people. My nurse, she's like, you know, your dad drove me down to Creighton. She remembers going out to Ross's Steakhouse and going out and getting a good meal. And he was a blue blood. I mean, he, he loved Creighton. He encouraged as many people from Pocahontas as you can imagine to go to Creighton. That was one of his biggest passions outside of his family. He really did encourage a couple of generations of uh, medical students. I think we, we owe him a, a lot, but I, I think he felt that he'd already been paid. It was a way for him to give back to Creighton what they gave to him. He was so proud. The care of the whole person, whether it was a student or a patient or that person you know, in Ireland, he did it better than anybody. Jim Slattery uh, was a doctor's doctor. Creighton prepares uh, doctors who care for their patients. Wonderful clinicians, and Jim certainly was one of those. He got to help people, and he loved what he did. Life's a journey, and in his journey, he enjoyed it all the way.